Look, I don't know what happened, but it doesn't matter because we're here. We reacted to all of the singles, which is funny because we had every intention of listening to the album and we never got to it. The only two features are Selena Gomez and Cardi B. So this album is nice, short, and sweet, you know, to the point. point yeah. I'm excited. I mean, it's, it's got my favorite Blackpink song. Which one is it? Oh. Yeah. We had a yeah. Love some girls. I'm expecting a lot of sass. I'm expecting a lot of energy. I'm expecting huge beat breaks and big vocal moments. If there's one thing that K-pop artists know how to do, it is pick a good beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have yes. good instrumentals. Yes, and honestly, Blackpink is one of a kind. So yeah. that signature sound is what I'm looking forward to most. Very orchestral, very strong. Blackpink in your area. For on the sheet, Yeah. So good. I didn't like that. That's a, you know what I like about that song? That it's like, is a hit. We react to the music video, so I'm not sure if my brain is drawing this idea from the music video, but it just feels like a song you break out in the street to. And like, just a bunch of crazy shit no, happens. it really, like. Like, it's, it's one of those flash mob songs. Like, you have to dance to that song. The, the chorus is so simple that it's so mm -hmm. catchy, it's just. But then I also like the part of where it's, um, it's the pre-chorus. Dun, 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 yeah, it's it has enough, it down like that. Yeah, exactly. It has like enough buildups throughout the song to where you never get bored. It's like you know exactly. that it's a bit of a, it's a smooth ride. I guess you could just say it's a smooth it's ride. It's a very smooth. I ride. like the topic though. It's about like honestly, just it's about becoming your best self. You yeah, know? and, and then saying like, like, like hi, hi. How it's you almost like, like how you like me now. Yeah, like or like look at me now. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Very so empowering track. A really good opening song. The balance. You could take a look, but it's a call to bite me. You're the one being chosen. Wow. Part of the song is when that bass drops, and you just gotta get low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the part. Chilling like a villain, yeah, rah, rah, rah. Mitchy, Mitchy, good times, fuck the wind, my life, rah, rah. Keeping moving like my Lisa, think the Bible, where you're Lisa, Mona Lisa, kind of Lisa, Nisa, ice cream, and the cheese. I always thought that Mona Lisa, kind of Lisa. Those little whistles in the beat. Yeah. I, I remember because that was the first Blackpink song that we reacted to on the channel. Was it? It was. It was ice cream. And then we went back? Then we went back. Yeah. 
Oh, dang. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember so, that. No, I, I remember that vividly. We saw that it was coming out. We said, hey, this is a good time to get into Blackpink. Yeah. And so that song always kind of puts a smile on my face because it's what kind of introduced yeah. us to Blackpink. They make really feel-good music. It's a good blend of the two. Bubblegum pop and hip-hop. This is that music that, like, you play, like, to feel yeah. good. Because yeah. it invigorates yeah, that sure. in you. It makes you... It, it's high energy, like I said. So it yeah. invigorates this confidence within you. And just, like, how you yeah. like that, this is another... Sort of empowerment song too. It's like they icy, like they just yeah. they look good. You know what I mean. So when you have a song coming up, pretty savage again, it just kind again, of follows it, it, yeah, that. that. Their name being Blackpink is kind of a good representation of representation their, of their music. Yeah, it's got like the hard beats, the rapping, the hip hop influence side. with the black, and then the pink is more bubblegum, more pop, pop. more light. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, so putting those together. It really, th those colors best describe how Blackpink makes you feel. Yeah. I did love Selena on this track as well. I think that her, her tone, when she sings, it, it totally matches that track. Ooh, little trap? Okay. I love this beat. I really do love the formula they use in their music. Really? It's, it's a, it really is a good balance between getting you hyped and slowing you back down. Right. You know right. what I mean? It's, yeah, it's perfect sure. club music in my opinion. They're really, They're really good, good with that. that. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty. I think no, it's a man. double. I think it's low-key a double. What do you mean? They're pretty and they're savage. But damn, they're pretty savage. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, no, it's right, a double like, like that. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 it's like that. Message-wise, that's why I was trying to explain that we just kind of talk about the contrast. Yeah, yeah. Because that's kind of what this song is talking about, the contrast. Low-key, yeah. That ending part was very unexpected. You see what I mean about switching? And they that keep was, you intrigued. That was, the to me, my favorite part of the song. Only because it was so... Unexpected. Definitely and it, unexpected. Uh, that was a beautiful slowdown. I know we're not like pointing them out as they sing and as they rap. We're still learning names. On top of hard beats, their voices are very delicate. Yes. You know what I mean? But it's also like, da -da -da -da, like it's in your face. Black pain. Okay, a bit of a switch. <laughs> More vocal moments. Cardi a good catch, but you gotta chase me. Grab my waist sound, but don't ever waste me. Turn on please me, but don't ever play me. One of a kind, the stakes is higher. Let's do what we both desire. Oh god, like I'm in the wire. I still be on fire. Okay, okay, okay.
Wow. I'm, I like that one. Wow. I like that one. I think Cardi was actually Cardi was good. a good addition to this song. I, I do think her verse kind of fell off at the end, but... It's so, something about the flow was a little off to yeah. me. Uh, I, I see her try. She tried to make the switch to ride the beat, and it was working at first. But I don't know the lyrical content yeah, was kind of off me. Awesome. But um, uh, verse wise, I actually like her verse. I like the but sound. The song in general. Yeah, the, the sound, sound was, a was switch. great. It's like I like the. Dun, 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 tell me dun, 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 you wanna go. It gave me a bit of a, a sexified vibe. Like, yes, little, I think I. It 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 was a grown sexy song. This is what you do. You two step two. I think it was in between the club. <laughs> and just chilling and vibing out. So that's why yeah. I was kind of like this the whole time. Like, hmm, this is Judy Tep's two step two. And then he loves her girls right at. Yeah. I like that from Jenny and Elisa coming in. That's nice. Yeah. Why can't I fucking love this song? I know. That's a verse. That's a verse right there. I, I can't describe what this song makes me what it makes me feel. I think when I heard this I didn't expect this part. And no, I didn't either. sonically wise, it was really, really, really pretty. Setting and slipping and falling, setting and killing your darling. There's a, there's a new element in there too. So yes, I have to add on the beat to amp it up more. <laughs> I don't know. There are certain songs that you just can't describe what it does to you. Just know that it makes you feel good. And yeah. this is one of those songs for me. I think their their visuals are a good translation of that, though. Yes. Like, I'm thinking about all the visuals for How You Like That, Ice Cream, and Love Sick Girls, and they're spot on. Like, yes. if you asked me what that song made me feel, the music video would be that. Yeah, So that's another sure. thing I want to give to them. One thing that I noticed in the album, it switched. Um, and sound. Love Sick Girls coming directly after Bet You Wanna was really smart to me because we didn't slow down. I think we just shifted in presence and tone. Yes. Like, yes. The way that it resonates is different from how the first three resonate. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. They're more melodic. That's what That's I was looking for. Word. They're more melodic. That's a good especially Love Sick Girls. Rather than. Rather yeah. than hype. They're Rather more than melodic. Hype, they're more yeah. Melodic, yeah. Melodic? Melodic. Melodic. Eh, it's a bit of a Okay. This must be a pretty savage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. That was it. 
interesting. Okay, hear me out. Okay. And based off first listen, the beat break isn't my favorite thing in the world. But I think this could be a single. I think for a good visual would be like a battle. Yeah. And like an arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like almost like gladiator days. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I think that could be cool. That would be kind of. They cool. should make this a single. They should. Yes, the we break for the chorus isn't my favorite. However, my favorite part yes is the outro. Oh, well, that's a good part too. I think the highlight of the song is actually the verses and the beat on the verses. I think well, that's no, the catchiest no, the part. The verses are stellar. The verses are good. But when we're talking about beat switch up, my favorite was the outro. That was. That was a beat switch up that I think what well, was the needed? Cool? Yes. I think so too. You had to get you got you had to get more hype than you were at some point. Because the, the chorus completely like boom. It's interesting for a song crazy over you that they kinda decided to take the chorus and exactly. bring it down. But once I finally made my move, like it kinda just sounds easy. like it's totally a story. Yeah, story. Yeah, a bit of a story, yeah, a bit yeah. of a story. I like yeah. that aspect too. Me too. La, 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 la. That's a good deep cut. That was good. When it comes to the lyrics, I'm getting it's almost like you're loving me just to end up hating me. I think is is highlighting the makeup breakup thing that a lot of right. relationships go through. Are you in a relationship with me just just to fight? Cause it's wake up, yeah. Makeup, maybe, maybe. exactly. Negative days, negative nights, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See what I mean, so it's like it's like that. Yeah. Back oh, wow. and forth, that tug no, of that's war. a really good deep cut. Yeah. 
I got strength. It's easier to judge me than to believe. Wow, what a okay. great way to end that. That was a album. perfect way to end the album. What are your thoughts? Oh, that's aside from aside from Let's Get Girls. That might be one of your favorites. Yeah, I, I think that's one of my favorites too. And you know what else I liked? I liked that it was a switch up in topic. I was gonna say the same thing. And it was pretty um, general. It's a switching topic, but it still carries the same energy, if that makes sense. Yes. That they've kept throughout that very confident energy. It's still carrying that, but getting a little more vulnerable. And yes. I think it was smart to put that at the end of the album. Because it's like, we can be hyping all of that and then get real for a moment at the same time. And it's right, like, like, yeah, right. we look good. But yeah, you see what's on the outside. You, but know you what don't I mean? know what it took to but get you, exactly. Here. You don't know what's really going on behind the scenes. Yeah. So oh, I, think I liked that a lot. That was a nice addition to an album like this. Yes. What I love the most though is the way that they were singing and rapping on just a, a simple piano. It, it lets yes. you know that like they were talking about some real stuff. For sure. You know what I mean, like it wasn't clouded by the production at all. No. You know, no. and we have the English translations up, so we're able to see, you know, understand what they're saying. Yeah. And yeah, this, this was probably my second or third favorite. Yeah, thinking the same thing. The album. What an album. I think that yeah. this is an album that perfectly sums up Blackpink. Yes. Their energy, their message, their vibe. I think that this was a good debut. This was their debut, right? This was their first yeah, full-length full album. Full -length album yeah. I think they did a really good job. You know, at I first I was too. like, ironically, Eight Songs is a pretty short album, yeah. but I didn't know if they were gonna have the same sound all the way through. Because then I would've been like, okay, we could've you know, shortened this a little bit because it can become redundant. Really good job at being versatile, yes. but still keeping that signature sound. And that's and the you can biggest hear that. thing. That's what you have to do with the debut. You yeah. have to solidify some sort of sound Definitely. But also incorporate different elements, which I think they did yeah. perfectly. So yeah, overall, good blend of topic, a, good blend and sound. Yeah. You know, they all got to showcase their vocals, showcase yes. their talent. That's another thing. They each got the perfect amount of time to shine, mm -hmm. and you can hear the distinct differences in their voice and, yeah. how, and how well they actually blend together. I'm wondering where they'll go with this, because now that they've like established their sound and established who they are, right. how far can you go with that black pink aesthetic? How far, how much deeper can you, I don't you know, know, dive? I don't know, it's a good question and it's, I mean, we'll see with their sophomore album or anything else that they put out. Definitely. That's a good question. Overall, we'd love to know your thoughts. You can comment them down below. If you enjoy watching us react, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And we'll see you guys on our next video.